Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. If you are creating a book in InDesign, you may want to create a table of contents. Thankfully, with InDesign, we can create our table of contents automatically if we have correctly assigned paragraph styles. If you do not know how to use paragraph styles in InDesign, please do visit the following link. To make your table of contents, First draw out your text box. Then go to the top menu and select Layout, Table of Contents. A pop-up window will appear. In this window, you can click a button that will allow you to see more or fewer options. My Style menu will allow me to select a paragraph style for the title of my table. This style I have already preset and named recipe name. If you do not have a current style that you are pleased with from this panel, you have the option of creating a new style. Below this, there is a box labeled Styles in Table of Contents. Here I can select my recipe name style and click Add. Doing this will ensure that all of my text set to my recipe name preset will be listed in my table of contents according to the order of its appearance. Keep in mind that your text must be set to that preset to be listed. To list a second preset, follow the same procedure. After doing so, I am given the option to assign a style to the list of my table of contents. I will select TOC body text. Then I can choose where I would like my page number to appear. I will keep after entry highlighted. I can also set the style of this number. I will choose character style 1. The between entry and number option will provide you with endless options of signs you could insert in that area. The possibilities are endless. When finished, hit OK. Because I had selected TOC body text as the style for my table of contents, it has reverted to that style. So now, what we must do is edit our style to achieve our desired layout. To do so, click on your paragraph style. The pop-up window will control every aspect of your text. I will go to bullets and numbering and omit my numbering by setting the format to none. Then I will go to my Tabs option and add a Write Justified tab. Then I can insert a leader. I will use a period. Just like that, my table of contents has been created. I hope this video was helpful. There is a huge variety of options in your provided menu when creating your table. The overlapping of your paragraph styles can make this task overcomplicated and confusing. My suggestion would be to start simple and then gradually work in more styles and settings. Remember, if something is not right or your text is getting jumbled, be sure to recheck your paragraph styles. For more information on your paragraph styles, again, please visit the following link. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.